we started this course by saying that what we are trying to understand is chemistry. What is chemistry all about? It's how substances react together <coughs> and write chemical reactions, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and be able to figure out what we start with. This is the starting material. and come up with what we end up with products so in addition figuring out product of a chemical reaction this chapter we are dealing with mass relationship what does that mean it means how many grams of a starting material do you need to obtain certain amount of product that's what we are doing in chemistry, we always must calculate how much starting material do you need and how much product can you produce. So before going into the chemical reactions, we need to know what are chemical reactions, what are chemical changes relative to physical changes. Can I say in a chemical reaction, the identity, the nature of a substance changes. In physical reaction, in physical reaction, the identity remains the same. For example, if I take some ice and melt it, that's a physical change. Why? Because before melting ice, the formula is H2O. After melting it, it's H2O, even if you boil water, you have H2O. But if I take a piece of metal, let's say steel, it's Fe, and then after it has gone through reaction with oxygen, you have rust, the formula is totally changed. The property is totally changed. Or remember we reacted sodium, which was a flammable metal with chlorine, which is a toxic non-metal. You obtain sodium chloride, total change of formula, total change of property. Sodium chloride, which is salt, table salt, it doesn't catch fire like sodium. It doesn't react violently with water. It's not toxic like chlorine. So in chemical changes, the nature and formula and properties of substances change. This is ice. You have got crystal structure of water molecule make a hexagonal geometry. In water, Molecules are not in a fixed geometry. They are randomly moving around each other. So, but look, formula before H2O, formula after is H2O. Property, the chemical property is not changed. Identity is not changed. The formula is not changed. But if I get a piece of log and burn it, that's a chemical change. Why? Before, <clears throat> You have got lots of cellulose after you have CO2 gas and water. Or example of a chemical reaction, <clears throat> excuse me. If silver is tarnished, you need to get rid of sulfur. Ag2S is this tarnish on the silver. That's a change of formula, change of nature. Silver is converted to silver sulfide and if you want to change this you have to use a reducing agent to get rid of the sulfur and have silver shiny so do you see change of formula change of nature so that's a chemical change change of appearance it's a physical change so if i go to next slide let's compare a few of these examples Melting of ice, physical change, rusting of a nail, chemical change. 
boiling water, water when it is liquid, uh, when it is a steam, it's always the same formula, H2O. That's a physical change, but burning a log. So you're burning, you get lots of ashes, carbon dioxide and water. So total change of the structure, that's the chemical change. We talk about tarnishing still where we already talked about that. Changes completely of body parts. Yes, good job. That's my, my dentist wife. <laughs> she's doing chemistry. Okay. Yes, she's right. So breaking glass, no change of the formula. You can get the glass, you can melt it, get back your glass. So that's a physical change. But fermentation of grapes, you get alcohol, you get change of formula. Grape and alcohol do not have same property. Souring of a milk is total change of a structure of milk, but pouring milk into a cup, that's no change of nature, it's just change of appearance. So that's end up to be physical change. <clears throat> Can I ask you to answer these questions and let me know when you are ready? Go guys. I'm waiting to see who is the first one who gets them all. Alexander! Thank you. Good job, Alexander. Wow. Four people already got it. Amazing guys. You're fast learners. Yes. Good job. Yes, absolutely. You're real fast. Thank you. So, is this what you got? Do this make sense? Do you agree with these answers? Do you have any question? Anybody? Okay. So now, we're going to focus on chemical reactions. If you add an Alka-Seltzer, if you add an Alka-Seltzer to water, you are going to see plop, plop, bis, bis. Lots of gases bubbling. What are these? Carbon dioxide. Where are they coming from? From reaction of baking soda with citric acid in Alka-Seltzer. Can I say this is a chemical reaction? The formula is changing because CO2 is not baking soda and it's neither a gas, citric acid. So can I say there is a chemical reaction? So what is a chemical reaction? Let me give you another example. Guys, if you react hydrogen and oxygen gases together, hydrogen is a flammable gas. It reacts with oxygen. It makes water. So I need two moles of hydrogen reacting with one mole of oxygen. That's a chemical reaction. This is a chemical reaction. So if I ask you what is happening going from left to right, what is happening in going from left to right? It's called the chemical reaction. Can I say what happened here is you started with oxygen you react with 
hydrogen. These are both diatomic molecules. And I needed two moles, I mean, or two molecules of hydrogen. And then you form water. This is the structure of water. And I will make two molecules of that. Do you see the bond between oxygen and oxygen is broken? Because you don't see two oxygen atoms on the right hand side. Do you see the bond between hydrogen and hydrogen is broken? Why? Do you see any bond between two hydrogens in water? No. So if I look at the product, which is on the right hand side, which is water, can I see that there are new bonds between oxygen and hydrogen, which they were not available before? New bonds. Can I say chemical reaction is nothing but breaking bonds and making new bonds. That's what chemical reaction is all about. For example, guys, if you are in a relationship or marriage and you are not happy, what do you do? You break a bond. Why? Because you want to make a new bond to bring happiness to you. That's what chemical reactions are about. Molecules which have reactivity. Molecules which have less stability. They break a bond. They make new bond which is more stable, which brings more happiness. That's what chemical reactions are about. Anybody, do you have any questions so far? Anybody, do you have any questions so far? All right, so look at the reaction of formation of rust. 